When most people think about civil engineering, they think you need to excel at physics and math just to get a degree. Now some of that is true, most of it's not, and I'm going to break down why. Before I start the video, I just want to let you know that there are timestamps in the description uh, if you would like to skip around the video to find a part that's useful for you. Please also like this video if you find it useful, and subscribe for more content for young civil engineers starting out on the field like myself. So how hard is civil engineering? Well, I don't think civil engineering is such a hard major. It does require some math and physics, but it's more the practical application of math and physics than the theoretical. Don't be intimidated by these long civil engineering name courses or people telling you it's a hard degree that you can't get. You can do it. It's just the application of math. And if you find the application of math fun and enjoyable, it's a perfect major for you. Yes, some classes will be more difficult than others. But the good part about civil engineering is the classes are applicable to real world situations. So the more courses you take, the more you're gonna start thinking of things differently. You're gonna start thinking like an engineer. You're gonna start thinking about infrastructures and how cities work and stuff like that. And the deeper you get into your degree, the more application it's gonna have and the more enjoyable your classes will become because you'll have practical application of them. Another benefit of having a civil engineering degree is there's no secondary school. Unlike medical school, law school, nursing school, once you graduate with your bachelor's in civil engineering, you're good to go, you can start working. The courses that you take are not fluff courses, they're all practical applications, and you're gonna really use what you learned in school at the real job. In fact, many people in their senior year know enough about the real world applications that they in fact get jobs, full-time jobs, at, in their senior year or get signed on to a full-time job during their senior year and start working immediately after graduation. Another great aspect of having a civil engineering degree is a civil engineering degree doesn't just encompass one specific field of civil engineering. It's a general civil engineering degree. So if you're saying going for structures and you don't like structures or you're going for transportation and you don't like it, you can still go into many other fields of civil engineering. In fact, not only that, you can go to a completely different field using your civil engineering degree. I know for my field, specifically for structural, a lot of people go into construction management using their civil engineering degree as a backbone. Another amazing thing about graduating with your civil engineering degree is you're going to join the civil engineering community. Civil engineers tend to work with other people, other civil engineers, and large teams. So civil engineers tend to make really good co-workers. Civil engineers, we often look for ways to improve infrastructure, ways to improve people's lives, and this often bleeds into the characteristics that make you a civil engineer. You're going to meet a lot of great people and you're going to make a lot of great friends along this journey. I know this video is short, but the answer is really short. Civil engineering is not a hard major. It can be a challenging major though. But as my professor Ron Pinnell used to say, a challenge implies something you can overcome. So as long as you take it step by step and keep the end goal in mind, you can become a civil engineer. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you gain the encouragement and the self-confidence you need to get your civil engineering degree. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content for young civil engineers who are starting out on the field. And as always, stay civil.